ካብ ኩሉ ሆርናዓት ዓለም ንመደባትና ኣብ ደገቢ ኢንተርኔት ኣብ ሃገርና ኤርትራ ሃገራት ምብራቅ ኣፍሪቃን ማእከላይ ምብራቅን ከዓ ብሳተላይት ቴሌቪዥን ኣለና ሚዲያ ንመደባትና መዓልታዊ ተከታተል ዘለኹም ኩብራት ኤርትራውያንን ፈተውትን ዝኽበረ ሰላምታና ይጽሕኩም ሎሚ ኣብ ናይ ለውጥ ግዜና ዘለና ስለዚ እንቀርበልኩም ዘለና ኣርእስታት ንኹነታት ሃገርና ኤርትራን ከባቢናን ብልክ እዝገልጹ ስለ ዝኾኑ ሼር ላይክ እናገበርኩም ናብ ኩሉ ንኽተባጽሑውን ከምኡን ተስተና ኣብኡዋን ንኽበጽሓኩም ሳብስክራይብ ብምግባር ስድራቤታው ተሳትፎኹም ኣይፈለየና ሰናይ ምክትታል ኩቡራት ተኻታተልቲ ኣለና ሚዲያ ቲቪ ሎሚ ዕለት 20 ክልተን ተሓሳስ ክልተ ሽሕን 21 ዓመት ምህረትዩ እዚ ኣብ ኢትዮጵያ ዝግበር ዘሎ ናይ ድሕሪት ምንሳሓብ ወይ ቦታ ምስኻል ናይ ኃይልታት ምክልኻል ትግራይ ኣመልኪቱ ጀነራል ጻድቃን ገብረት ዘሰኣይ ምስ ቢቢሲ ዝገበሮ ቃለ መጠይቅ ከም ዘለዎ ነቕርበልኩም ኣለና ብሓፈሻ ኣብቲ ቃለ መጠይቅ ዝተሓተቶ ሕቶታት ልክዕ ከምቲ ኣባይታ ዘሎ ሁሉ ኩነታት መሊሶም ዘሎ ከነራገ ጽልኩም ደሊ ገለ ገለ ኻብቲ ሕቶታት ብዛዕባዚ ምስሓብ ሓይልታት ምክልኻል ትግራይ ካብ ከባቢ አፋርን አምሓራን ሰለምንታይ ዝብል ጉዳይ ውን ቀንዲ አልዒለሞ ዘሎ ጉዳዩ ንሱጥራይ ዘይ ኾነ ምኽንያት ናይቲ ምንሳሓብ ወይ ምዝላ ካብ ወሳኒ ናይ አምሓራን አፋርን ክልል ጠንቅታት እንታዩ ወይ እንታይቲ ነዚ ወሳኒ እዚ ክትወስዱ ዘገደደኩም ዝብልውን አሎ ነዚ ውን በትክክል ተመሊሱ ስለዘሎ ከም ዘለዎ ናባኹም ነቅርበልና ሙሱ ተታይዙ ዝኸይድ ብዛዕባ ኣብ ክልላት ኣምሓራን ዓፋርን ሰብኣዊ ጽሕሰት ብሓይልታት ምክልኻል ናይ ትግራይ ከም ዝተኻየደ ዝብልሕተውን ቀሪብሉ ነዚ ዝምልከቱን ናቱ መልሲ ይብሉሎ እዚ ጥራይ ዘይ ኾነ ብሓፈሻ እቲ ኣካይዳ ናይቲ ኩናት እንታይ ከም ዝመስል ውን ጠይሶሎ ጀነራል ጻድቃን ሓደ ኻብቲ ጠይሶ ዘሎ ጉዳይ ዝበዝ ሓይጣት ምክልኻል ትግራይ ናብቲ ቦትኡ ወይ ቋሚ ዕርዱ ኾይኑ ከካላኸለሉ ዝኽእል ተመሊሱ ከም ዘሎ እዝኻ ብመሰረቱ ንሰላም ዝዕድም ምኻኑ ተተጋጋም ግዚኻ ክቐርበሉ ጽንሕቶ ምኻኑ ኣብ ግምት ምምታው ንሰላማዊ ፍታሕ ድል ማሃብ ምኻኑ ኣብሪወሎ ምዝ ተታሕዝ ዝኸይድ ውን ገና ገለገለ ኸፋል ናይ ሓይጣት ምክልኻል ትግራይ ውን ብሕጂ ክወጽ ምኻኑን ገና ኣብ ጉዕዞም ዘሎን እውን ሓደ ኻብቲ ኣብዚ ቃለ መጠይቅ ዝተዛራረወሉ ጉዳዩ ብዛዕባ ናይዚ ምዝላ ኩነታት ምናልባት ናይ ነፈርቲ ፍላይ ናይ ድሮን ተራ እንታይ ከም ዝነበረ ውን ተሓቲቱ መልሲ ይብሉሎ ብወገን ምዕራብ ናይ ትግራይ ገና ሰፊሕ ቦታታት ብሓይልታት አምሓራን ፌደራላዊ መንግስትን ኮምኡን ብሰራዊት ኤርትራ ተታይዞም ዘሎ ብሰሜን ናይ ትግራይ ውን ሰራዊት ኤርትራ ገልኸፋላት መሬት ናይ ትግራይ ሒዞም ዘሎ ኣብሪህዎ ከም ዘሎ ኣብዚ ብንጹር ተገሊጹሎ ካብ ቀረባን ርሑቕን ንመደባትና ተካታተሉ ዘለኹም ኩብራት ኤርትራ ፈተውትን እዚ እንቕርቦ ዘለና ጉዳይ ናይ ትግራይ ጉዳይ ጥራይ ኣይኮነን ደጋ ጊምና ሐሩብለኹም ጽናሕና ንሕና ኤርትራውያን ፈቲና ኣይፈቲና ኣብ ዙኺናት ዚ ስለ ዘለና ምዕባለታትን ኣካይዳን ናይ ዙኺናት ዚ ንቕድሚትን ንድሕሪት ናይ ምጓዓዝ ናይ ዙኺናት ዚ ከነቕርቦን ምስሉ ኩነታት ኣዛሚድና ትንታናታት ክንህብን ጽንሕና እዝኻ ሓደ ኻብቲ ግድነታዊ ዕዮና ምዃኑ ብንጹር ገሊጽናዮ ኣለ ጀነራል ጻድቃን ኣብቲ ቃለምጥ የቁዝበሎ ብዛዕባ እዚ ኩናት ዝምልከት ኣባጋጉስኡ ክልቲኦም መራሕቲ ናይ ኤርትራን ናይ ኢትዮጵያን ምዃኖም ክሳብ ሕጂ ውን ነዚ ኩናት እዚ ጀነራላት ኤርትራ ኣብ ኣዲስ ኣበባ ኾይኖም ይሕንጹዎም ዘለዉ ጭቡጥ መርትዖም ዘለዉ ኣብቲ ቃለምጥ የቁን ጥቂስ ወሎ 
دیگه من هنوز لحظه مثلا هنگا از وی نزی ببرخوت ایسیاس ببرخوت عده حالا استجمرن زخیادن کم زخانه کل نزخی نزی زد لیحن ساساتن میلاتاتن اتی آلو ذبحال کلتن کلم نایه گذف جنرالات آب زخی نزی کم زنوارون کسای جا هم زلون دیگه من هنگل ساز نه نه بفلایتی آب گزی تقرای زنوار لحی نت کلم تم جنرالات آب تقرای کم زنوارو آم مقالن کاب دوب کاب مقالن تن کسای سوم کسای آب گندرن سلام تن آب بهردار کا بهردار حلیفم کسای بینشانگول گومز کم زنوارو کندگا گومز سرحنا بودایو سرزی کاب زغالیله بقت تا نابتی کارم تایو جنرال صاد کان مس بی بی سی که حلف کمی Just weeks ago, rebel forces in Ethiopia were on the offensive, taking territory, sounding bullish and confident. Some even predicted on this program that they could, should they wish, march into the capital Addis Ababa. Sure, why not, as one spokesman for the Tigrayan forces put it to us. Now, though, the picture is very different. Those same forces have announced an almost complete pullback to the northern province of Tigray itself. A strategic withdrawal, their leaders are calling it, in the hope, they say, there'll now be a comprehensive ceasefire and full peace talks. The federal government under Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed have another view altogether. Tigrayan forces are, they say, on the run. This is not a managed retreat. It is, in fact... A route. We'll get an expert outside assessment in a moment, but first let's hear from one of the major players. He's Tsabkan Gebretenseya, former chief of staff of the Ethiopian National Defence Force, now a member of the Central Command of the Rebels of the Tigray Defence Forces. How is he seeing this very changed battlefield? The bulk of our forces are inside the constitutionally recognized part of Tigray. There could be some uh, forces still traveling to Tigray or some forces posted for security purposes, but the bulk of our forces are inside Tigray. Mind you, we have taken this political decision and uh, the withdrawal operation at a time when the whole of Western Tigray is under uh, the occupation of uh, Eritrea and uh, Ethiopian uh, allied Ethiopian forces. Some forces of uh, Isaias are still in some parts of uh, northern uh, Tigray. Their commanders are uh, planning operations in Addis Ababa. Their uh, mechanized experts are commanding Ethiopian mechanized units. So we have decided to withdraw and we have withdrawn the bulk of our forces into Tigray on the consideration that we want to give peace a chance. You say that this was a political decision, this uh, move back into Tigray of pretty much all your forces. Uh, there have been lots of reports that actually what has driven you back has been the military successes of your opponents, in particular the use of combat drones against your stretched supply lines into Amhara and Afar and down the road towards Addis Ababa. That has been a big part of the reason why you have withdrawn forces, isn't it? I would not say it was not a factor, but that is not the only factor. When we marched to Addis Ababa, the political and diplomatic arrangements did not go in tandem with our military progress. The diplomatic and the arrangements were not in place. And uh, it was a factor that uh, we had to consider, especially when we have a very low supply line, supplying a huge army, and our trucks are moving either for supplies or uh, reinforcements. Those were an easy target for the drones. So uh, the drones had an effect on uh, our supply line. There are forces opposed to you who are currently in West, Western Tigray. 
that you also say that there are members of the Eritrean army in northern Tigray. Why did you not concentrate your efforts there? Were you guilty of perhaps being a bit too ambitious in trying to march all the way to Addis Ababa? No. I think it has to be clear from the outset that there was no intention to march into Addis Ababa. We were ambitious in the sense that we wanted to finish the war as soon as possible. In our thinking, march for the south and at the same time bringing the political coalition as possible, uh, pressurizing the Ethiopian government for an all-inclusive negotiated political settlement we thought would be the shortest path to bring an end to the predicament where, which we are in. You've talked many times about your desire for there to be an all-inclusive political dialogue. How far do you accept yeah. that the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front has a feared reputation in much of Ethiopia because of its 30 years in power and also more recently because of the documented human rights abuses that fighters in your name, fighters with the Tigrayan Defence Forces have carried out and that have been documented by human rights groups, summary executions, rapes, and other possible war crimes have been carried out by Tigrayan rebel forces in Amhara and Afar. Do you accept that that means that as far as a lot of the Ethiopian population is concerned, the TPLF is to be feared and it is to be defeated? The war that is being waged in Tigray is a war of resistance by the people of Tigray. The Human Rights Commission in Geneva uh, have uh, decided to put an expert group to inquire into the human rights abuses all over Ethiopia, including human rights abuses that has been done allegedly by the fighters in Tigray. We have welcomed it. You are asking me about what the TDA forces have done inside Amhara and uh, Afar. But the atrocities that has been committed in Tigray are much worse. If at all there is any atrocities committed in Afar and Amhara, the atrocities that has been committed in Tigray, both by Ethiopian forces and by external forces, forces of Eritrea, is huge, huge and uh, you know appalling. So the only thing that I, I can say is. What has been decided on uh, Geneva is the first right step. Let an independent inquiry go into the process, bring the facts together, I mean, to, to the surface, and then that will be the base for uh, any judgment. That was Tsakang Gabriel Seya, uh, Chief of Staff. Uh, of uh, former Chief of Staff, the Ethiopian National Defence Forces, now uh, with the Tigrayan Defence Forces. 